Good morning everyone. Today we're going to show you the environment and Google of Google Classroom and how to use this program. This program is actually very useful for our students and teachers so that we can exchange your, our communications, our assignments, and activities much easily and much organized using this platform. So today to be able to start, so let's go to Play Store. So let's type Google Classroom. It's better to download it as our application program so that we can easily get a notification stating if your student has an assignment or has an activity to do. So let's type Google Classroom. There you go. So here's the Google Classroom. That is the symbol of Google Classroom, which is a color green with an image of some like, like a man at the back. So install it. So we'll just wait for a moment until it is installed. And once it's installed, we will show you how it looks like. Okay. While we're waiting for it to be installed. So there you go. I think we just have a few more seconds left. Afterwards, we're going to open it already. So Google classroom is very useful once you see at first at first you might think it's hard to use but basically it's actually not this is a place where in the teachers will send the assignments the activities the things to do of the students so it will be also an easy way for you to use this because this is also where you're going to send the assignment send the videos or the files that you need to send to your teacher especially if you're going to do your online class right now this is the program which is mostly used by um, by the school aside from if it's it is free this is also easy to use so let's just wait it's still installing it might still take some time Now it's open, click the open, and then it will direct you to Google Classroom. So it also mentions there to get started. It says your classroom helps classes communicate, save time, and stay organized. So get started. So I will use my account. I already have an existing account. So, but for now, uh, I suggest you to use the account which is not your personal account aside instead use a separate or create a separate account especially just for your online class so i'm going to use this one which is seansky at gmail.com so click ok once you already log in using your google account so there you go so this is what it looks like it's so plain there's really nothing there's a uh, three lines three vertical three um three lines on the left side there's a plus sign and there's also three dotted lines so to be able to start let's click on the plus sign and join class okay so it's either you will enter the code or the teachers will actually send you an invitation and click that link to be able to join the class so for now i already have a class code so i'm going to enter d5 tf L4S. This is already a classroom which I made just for viewing purposes. So once you enter the class code, you click the join on the top right side of the screen. So once you join, there you go. It's yeah. There you go. So basically, this is what the teacher have already prepared. The name of the class is DCDMI. And these are the assignments that they already prepared. So, so if you click here, see new assignment or a new assignment phonics A. So I'll try to open it here. So it says here 20 points. And it shows please click 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 the link below and be familiar with the phonics sound of A. Thank you and enjoy learning. So there's an attachment or there's a link. Now if you wanted to see Sorry, there's a message. 
So if you wanted to send a response, so let me just do it again. So this is the assignment. So if you wanted to send a file or send a response to your teacher, like example, you already done your assignment. So you're going to see this um, arrow up symbol above the wordings you are working. You click that one. Then you can basically it says it's marked as done or if you have an attachment to to send so you just click add attachment and you find the file that you need to send so for example if this is a video or an image so i just need to click on for example this one let me try just for sample purposes so i have this a jpeg file which i'm sending to the church so you just after sending the file, then that's it. You already send an assignment to your teacher. So, as simple as that. So, just give us some time to be able to see that this is already attached. Then you can consider it marked as done. So, it didn't end. So, let's try it. Ah, there you go. So, now it's attached. You can see that the file name is on the top. The file name is 2020 etc etc once it's done you're going to see click on turn in if it, it means like if it's already already you already click this uh, button it means you already done the uh, particular assignments which the teacher asks you to do so click onto that turn in your work one attachment will be submitted for ponix a so turn in that's it so it shows at the bottom that the work is submitted so that's it for the Ponix A. Then if you want to go back, click the F and do the other assignments that you wanted to do. So let's try to click click again new assignment. So if there's a message on the right side that it is turned in, it means that you don't have to do it anymore. Because once the message shows turned in, it means it's already submitted. Let's try the other one. The new assignment write the correct answer so it still shows if you're going to see on the right side the message is still assignment so it doesn't show that it's already turned in so it means this is something that you still have to do so click on that and that's it so there are three also buttons the stream the class work sorry stream class working people so let's go to stream so stream means like this is the flow of all the communications or informations which was sent to you or exchanges of communication between you and the teacher then classwork those are your assignment and the people so who are the people who's um what do you call this who is the teacher and who is the classmate which is, which are involved in the class so basically the teacher is sky learning tv so basically this is one of my account and classmates who in who is also part of this is Eunice Milan. so this is teacher nice then we also have a button on the left side which is this one the three lines on the left so basically these are what are the classes so it's the same then the calendar if you want to use it and if we want to go to the settings which is really not necessary then on the rightmost side the three dots that is just only to refresh so this is as simple as that this is the google classroom um, video presentation specifically for teachers or parents thank you so much if you have any question you can just send us a message or comments and we will definitely uh, ch try all our best to be able to give a response to your questions thank you so much and have a great day stay safe bye bye